Hello Capricorn, this is going to be your end of September, early October. How do they feel about your reading? I'm sorry, I tried to get this up yesterday, but more technical difficulties as per usual. <laughs> I'm trying guys, I'm trying. I think it's like Mercury retrograde coming up soon because I'm just blaming everything on that. <laughs> so let's do one more shuffle and then we will start the reading. All right, so let's see what's going on with Capricorn and whoever they're thinking about. Okay, heart of the matter, we have the Knight of Cups. Okay, so the Knight of Cups here. This is about an offer coming in, somebody coming in to extend an offer to you of love, maybe commitment. We do have the Five of Swords, which is crossing or influencing this card. So it could be somebody who, you know, may have stepped away from the situation, but they never really fully went, you know, totally gone, right? They're, they're like still looking back. Um, you know, this could be reconciliation of some sort, but <clears throat> this is definitely somebody who wants to bring something into you, some type of offer. Let's get three cards on this situation. Strength card. Leo energy, maybe dealing with the Leo, but this is somebody who's unable to hold back, right? They don't have the strength to hold back anymore, so I think that this could be why they decided to come forward. The death card reversed, Scorpio energy. Again, someone who's not ready to let things end here, right? Something's not ending. Yep, then we have the Six of Swords reversed. You know, this is somebody who could be, no, you cannot, sorry, my cat's already causing problems here. There's no room for you on this table. There's zero room. I tried to set it up so he had no room to, to come over here. He has to stay in his little area. <laughs> okay, going back to the reading. Six of Swords reversed is really somebody who, they could be at a distance from you, but this is also somebody who is, um, you know, they're not moving forward. They're, they're still sticking with this. You've got three cards here that are showing that like this person's definitely coming back around. They're definitely trying to, you know, there could be some conflict here, but they're coming in because they haven't fully left the situation. They won't let it end. And they don't have the strength anymore, I think, to hold back their feelings. So this is somebody who's not moving forward. They're still attached to the situation here, right? Potential outcome, let's see. The moon card, so you know, Pisces energy. Some of you could be dealing with the Pisces, but this is about emotions, feelings, sometimes intuition for me. Um, <clears throat> not as much as the high priestess, but definitely some intuition here. Um, you know, but this is somebody who's harboring deep feeling, deep emotion in this situation, right? Um, these things are hidden under the surface, and I don't think that they're able to conceal it anymore, right? Um, they don't have the strength. It's, it's almost like this person has deep feelings here um, and they're unable to walk away from the situation. So they do want to bring you this offer. At the same time, you know, they're still kind of hiding things. They're still hiding their feelings and emotions a little bit. Um, but they're, they're going to win out. Obviously, you're going to see that they have them because they're coming around. <laughs> we do have the hangman. Okay, Pisces energy. This is somebody who is waiting right um waiting for the clarity and to get that information that they need in order to make the right choice right however you know it really i think it's about this person being driven by these deep emotions that are it's almost like unconscious so you you may actually be waiting a little bit for them to express themselves but at the same time their actions are going to be more um, expressive than their words here they're i, I feel like they're going to come forward and they're going to offer you this commitment, but they may not be like, oh, I'm so in love with you. They may just be like, hey, let's try this again. I miss you. Do you know what I mean? That, that kind of situation where their feelings are still kind of under wraps, but um, their actions are going to speak louder than their words, basically, is what I'm getting here. So let's just really clarify quickly, not go too deep into it. What's the Knight of Cups here about? What's this card about? We have the tower. This is Scorpio energy again. For me, this is Scorpio. <coughs> this is like Scorpio for me. I mean, it could be any s sign really, but I, I always feel like it's a Scorpio card. I don't know, that's just me. Um, 
and if not, then whatever. <laughs> People may disagree. <laughs> anyway, so we do have the tower here in the Knight of Cups. So something has ended, right? I think that there's been some sort of ending where somebody walked away, stepped away from the situation. Um, but now I think that they want to come around and bring some love into the equation, bring some commitment here. But something had to end. Something had to crumble first. And I think it's, that is what made them realize that they have these deep feelings. Okay, They do have the deep feelings, and they, they don't want to lose this situation. Because, again, they're not ready to walk away. You see, he's looking back at this person who's crying. Like He's not walking away. He still has a sword. That means he's still thinking about it. Swords are thoughts. They may have laid down these swords, but these ones are still with them. So it's like, it's not over yet for them. Why is this five of swords here? Justice. Yeah, they feel this imbalance. They want, they want balance in the situation. And I feel like they're just sort of trying, that could be why they have the hangman there, trying to figure out how to balance things out again. This can also be about like legal documents. Sometimes someone could be going through a legal issue um, some of you, not all of you. It could be the other party as well. But, you know, sorry about the sunlight. It's just a little crazy in here. But there's somebody who feels very off balance by this situation, right? Like something isn't fair. Sometimes this could be like a lack of fairness, a lack of be something being just, right? Um, so someone feels like there's not, there's a situation that's just not really fair. And it's almost like, I feel like this person feels like they've, they've the situation isn't fair on their end because something had to happen here. Um, and I don't, I feel like they didn't want it to happen, right? They didn't want, whatever it was, it was some sort of event. This is at least what I'm kind of getting trickling in. Um, it was like some sort of event that, you know, made them feel like they had to walk away for some reason um, because that, w that event could have been this tower moment. And a tower moment can really be anything. It could be like a death in the family. It could, but it's something kind of traumatic that makes someone have to kind of, in this situation, step away, right? Step away from the situation and get clarity and figure out what to do. Try to figure out their next move. So let's see, why is the strength card here? Three of Wands reverse could be the distance from you. They, you know, I think that this person, again, they don't have the strength anymore to <clears throat> to wait. They 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 can't hold back anymore. This is someone making moves. They're not waiting around anymore. This person's making moves, so I think they're they're not, you know, they, they don't have the strength to wait anymore. They're not going to hold back. Again, they turn their back towards you, and they could be at a distance, but they don't. They're not going to do this anymore. They're going to they're they're going to come back around because. They, they've been holding back, and they're not going to do that anymore. This is someone who's going to be making moves towards you. Why is the death card here reversed? Four of pentacles. Yeah, holding on to something, right? This is holding on to something, too. To something that's not dying. They're holding on to you, I think. They're holding on to the thoughts of you, ideas. Right. They're holding on to this something, this relationship, whatever it is, it's not over yet, right? So <clears throat> this person is clinging to it still. Six of Swords, what's this about? Why is this reversed? Yep, they want attention. So they're not, someone sees victory here, so that's why they're not walking away. They see like, they feel like they can still come into this victorious, you know, energy where they can make things work right you know someone's going to be getting some attention could be around christmas time see a christmas wreath could be around christmas time this person starts coming back around and you st start to see that like you know they didn't want to leave but something happened tower moment in their life or your life kind of forced them to step away <coughs> why is the moon card here for the outcome you have the chariot reverse cancer energy so it could be that, you know, they don't bring forward their emotions very readily. Again, actions, I think, are going to speak louder than words, but they're not going to be spilling their, you know, spilling their emotions out onto you when they do come around. They're going to be holding things in. And if they had their own tower moment that made, it's like they feel like their life is unfair for some reason because of whatever this tower moment was. But it's like they, they may not be like, 
very expressive about it emotionally, like verbally to you, like, oh, you know, I was really depressed, blah, 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 blah. I'm not getting that energy. I'm getting more that they're just going to come in and be like, hey, I do want to be with you. But they're not going to be like, I was really depressed about this, blah, 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 right? It's not going to be moving forward in that respect when it comes to revealing their emotions and their feelings about the situation. <coughs> so why is the hangman here? <coughs> Sorry. Like... sort of I don't think I have allergies I think I just not now at least but I don't know I'm like my throat's not great why is the hangman here ace of swords yeah they're trying to get clarity it's clarity the truth they're trying to figure out the truth the clarity you know they will come in with communication but they're trying to get clarity that's why they are taking a break <coughs> And I think, like I said, when they come in, <coughs> sorry, when they come in, it's really going to be like, I feel like it's more of a waiting period and giving you that clarity when it comes to this emotion that they have or with their feelings during the separation or whatever was going on. Even if you're not separated, if they're kind of withdrawn, <coughs> it could be because of this stuff. Okay, so let's get some more information. First, let's knock everything on the table over. Let's do that first. <laughs> <coughs> okay, I gotta move these cards over a little bit. So, hold on. <coughs> All right, let's just move these over so you can see them a little better. Hopefully, <laughs> you can see them better. Or not. I'll hold the cards up though. All right, so let's get some blocks for this person. Let's see what's going on. What are some blocks for this person that you're dealing with? What are some of the themes and things that are going on in their life right now? You know, this could be why they're not coming forward or, you know. <coughs> We have highly sought after popularity and magnetic attraction. Okay, so they could have people coming towards them. They could be very busy when it comes to dealing with people coming in. Um, I just, I, I kind of am getting the message that some people are dealing with like a death in the family. And I, I mean, I know this hasn't come up, but this is kind of just what I've, I've just got. And that's not all of you, that's just some of you. That whoever this person is, they may be dealing with a death in the family. And I think that a lot of people are around them right now. This is someone who's got a lot of people around them. That could be that tower moment that makes them feel like their life is unfair. Something's not, you know, something's upsetting them. <coughs> what else? We have unrealistic pursuits, rushing into things, tactless. So they want to take their time here. They don't want to rush into things. Um... You know, they, they want to make sure that they come correct. But at the same time, I think that they, like I said, they're dealing with some sort of tower moment and they're, they're trying to process. Um, so they're not trying to rush back into this situation because they, they have other things that they need to deal with right now. Then we have feeling supported by loved ones, inner child feeling nurtured. Yeah, this is from, to me, it's, it's like they're f this is somebody who is around their family right now. Um... They're trying to get support. They're trying to feel nurtured because again, there was a tower moment. There's, like I said, I got that message that somebody's gone through some sort of death in the family or some sort of trauma, something very upsetting and they're dealing with family matters right now, okay? So, I mean, basically what this is about is that it really doesn't have anything to do with you. <laughs> so, it's like it doesn't, it, you didn't do anything, not that we ever do, but you didn't do anything to cause this, right? So then you have confidence, putting your best foot forward. This person may lack the confidence right now to do anything. Um, they may be feeling very, very insecure about whatever is happening in their life. Okay. So let's get some blocks. We're going to clarify a little bit more. What do we need to know about this 
magnetic attraction, this highly sought after. And I, I really just think that, what the hell is going on with this fucking deck? It's like, it's impossible to shuffle this deck lately. I don't know why. <laughs> it's like, it's always stuck. All right, so what is this highly sought after card about? We have fear of the unknown, time to embrace in uncertainty. Okay, so something's happened here. Something's happened here where they've got a lot of people around them. They've got this fear, okay? Um, this fear of the unknown. So whatever's happening with them, okay, th it's making them very uncertain. I feel like this person feels very thrown off balance. This tower moment that they're experiencing, that they're going through. There's something here that they, they kind of have a lot of people around them, and it's like they're trying to figure out how to deal with what's happening, okay? Trying to figure out how to deal with what's going on in their life. And again, it could be something traumatic. It could be something, you know, that we don't even really know about. Some of you admit, yes, they may have told you. Um, but again, you know, it's not going to be that for everybody. It was just a specific message I did get. So remember, these are for lots of people. So I'm going to get a couple more. Okay. So what's this unrealistic expectations about? You have self-worth. Someone's self-esteem is affected in this relationship. Okay, so they don't, I think that they're not rushing into things because right now, again, I feel like they're insecure, okay, because we have the confidence card. Here's a block. Um, they're insecure about something, and it's something's affecting their self-esteem, their self-worth, whatever they're dealing with, whatever they're going through. So they're not rushing back into things right now. Um, I mean, we know they're going to come back around, so I don't, it doesn't mean that they're not going to come back around. It's just going to take a little time, I think, because this person is still kind of dealing with something. So what's this um, feeling supported by loved ones? Observing, watching, taking notice. So I think that he's a that he, <laughs> he or she, okay, um, or they, are kind of around people that are just kind of taking notice. They're watching them. They're observing them. <coughs> um, again, they're around a lot of people right now, and they're trying to feel supported. They're trying to feel nurtured. They're trying to make themselves feel better. Um, you know, if it's not family, it could be friends, right? This could also be somebody who is secretly watching you and keeping an eye on you. Okay, that's what this card is about as well. Um, but, you know, it could go either way. I, I'm getting more that it, it is really about them, you know, just kind of taking a step back and noticing their surroundings, noticing everyone around them, trying to bring in people that are, you know, going to help them feel nurtured and supported right now because of whatever they're going through. Then we have irresponsible, unreliable, reckless, and careless. So they're not confident right now that they won't be irresponsible or reckless when it comes to this situation. So that's, they're holding back. They're, again, there's the insecurity happening here where I don't think that they feel like they can give you the, be their best self because of whatever is happening right now. So they know that they would not be reliable for you. Um, they're just not available to give you exactly what you need and be there emotionally for you right now because they're dealing with something and they can't give anything right now. I think that they feel very, they're like depleted. They have to, if they have to like seek out other people like family members to feel emotionally supported, how are they going to give you the emotional, you know, support that you need, right? They can't do that. And I think that they know that they're not in a place to do it. I was afraid of you. So I ran. Okay, there's a message from them. Um, <clears throat> you know, I was afraid of you. I'm sorry, I was afraid, so I ran from you. <laughs> I can't even read these cards, and I created them. Um, I was afraid, so I ran from you. So, you know, again, I think this, whatever they're going through, there was a lot of fear there. They just didn't know how to deal with it. Um, but again, this isn't this isn't about you, even though I said they were afraid of you. They're not. <laughs> I read the card wrong. <laughs> They're afraid of you. 
All right, then we have I wish I could change the past. So I, I really am getting this strong, strong vibe that they've been through something, something, some, a tower moment has happened for them in their life, something really upsetting that was completely out of their control. Because the tower means something comes in from the universe that literally knocks us down and is completely out of our control. A lot of times it's just like out of nowhere, we never see it coming. And I wish, I feel like this person wishes that they could change that. They wish that they could change whatever has happened because now they're feeling really down on themselves right they're feeling down on themselves um you know it's like whatever they're experiencing is it's a lot of deep deep stuff i have a, i feel a spiritual connection with you okay so this person does feel like a very deep connection with you um so it's not like they're they walked away and they're like, oh, I felt nothing. Time to focus on me. It's not like that at all. It's not the energy that I'm getting from this reading. I'm just getting someone who feels very wounded right now because of something that they're dealing with. And then you may not even know what it is. <clears throat> okay. I mean, if I can't control myself around you. So this, again, there's that reckless and careless actions. Be, feeling like not being reliable, feeling irresponsible, not being able to give you what you need. And it's like their behavior right now is kind of, it's like out of their control. Um, they may not feel like they can control themselves around you. It's like they feel very volatile right now for whatever reason. Okay. So... These are just some blocks that they're going through right now. We're going to get some more messages. These are going to be um, just like the romantic themes and some romantic messages from them. <clears throat> See how they feel. Okay. So let's get some romantic themes for this person. We have religious factors. Your love life is influenced by your religious upbringing and spiritual path. So there could be some cultural issues here. There could be some religious differences. Um, you know, when I think of religion, I, I feel like maybe this person is going through some sort of spiritual crisis, right? They could be going through that because, you know, maybe something has triggered them to kind of, maybe they're having a spiritual awakening. We don't know, right? But either way, there's something going on here that is affecting this whole situation. There are religious factors. There is some spirituality at play here. Um, I think this person is definitely being affected. Then we have getting to know each other. As you reveal your innermost selves to each other, your bond deepens. So I think that there's things about this person that you may not know. Okay, You may have just recently met them. Um, you know, you may not have known them for so long, but if, you know, if not, if you've known them for a while, there's some aspects to this person that you may not be aware of. Right? There's there's things that like, you know, they maybe haven't expressed to you in so many words and they, they do have the deep layers to them, right? They are an emotional being. They are, <clears throat> you know, someone who's deeply, um, I think this is someone who's very sensitive, but maybe you haven't seen that side of them, right? So it's like getting to know each other better um, and revealing your innermost selves. That's the moon card reverse. So it's like, if they're still holding that back from you, it's hard to get to know them, right? So these are going to be some more messages. We have masculine. So they may be very in the masculine energy right now. You can't go on here. There's no room for you. Oh, my God. How are you doing this? He's, like, he just goes anywhere. <laughs> so they may be very in that masculine energy, but not... The not, um, it's more like the wounded masculine. The wounded masculine runs away. They don't pursue. Now the, you know, the healed masculine, they will pursue. They know, they go after what they want. They're not afraid of rejection. They're not, you know, the wounded masculine runs away from their feelings, right? The wounded masculine runs away from their feelings. Um, so I feel like they're in that wounded masculine energy right now. And it could be male, female, you know, whatever gender you identify with, anyone can be in that wounded masculine energy. We all have both energies. So, you know, sometimes we get into the wounded masculine. Sometimes they get into the wounded feminine, right? It really depends on what energy we, that um, situation kind of drums up for us. Then we have bridges. So divine connection is shortening the physical distance to bring you together. Like I said, I got some distance between the two of you, but it's also about emotional distance. So there could be some distance here. There is, 
this energy of wanting to bridge that gap of wanting to kind of make that move towards each other you know, the Knight of Cups is somebody who's making the move to come towards you. Then we have Mountain, facing obstacles and challenges to, challenges to rise and evolve. So again, this person is facing some serious challenges in their life. Um, and there's an obstacle here in this situation. They're climbing this mountain, and I feel like they feel very alone. Then we have Eternal, the heart and soul ties that bind. So this is like, you know, an eternal bond here, soulmate energy. Um, definitely somebody that you've got a strong bond with and they feel it too right it's not like they don't feel that I'm gonna move this because this fucking cat I swear I love him so much but he's such a nuisance <laughs> he's like such a nuisance <laughs> I, like I can't do I cannot do a reading without him getting in the way and you know I can't really lock him in the bathroom or lock him in another room because he cries and yells and screams so there's really nothing I can do <gasps> and so let's get some clarity here we have the immersion I'm past the point of no return and I'm giving all my love to you so this is under the masculine energy and again I was getting a, a more wounded masculine here um, so there's a conflict within which could be that imbalance from the justice card but there's a conflict within them they do have these deep feelings, right? They want to give all their love to you, but, and they're immersed. They feel very immersed in this. However, the wounded masculine, like I said, they run, like I said, they run from their feelings. So you've got that conflict, okay? Um, you've got that conflict going on within them. Then we have this, the shadow, this love triggers our shadow sides. And this shadow side could have something to do with this emotional distance, the emotional disconnect that this person's not bringing forward a deeper level of emotion for you. Um, or not for you, but uh, they're not giving you like an insight into their emotions. Okay, that could be what that distance is. It could be physical distance, but that shadow is being triggered. Okay, that shadow, that's a, sh a darker element of this person. Um, I, I think it's triggering both of you the fact that they cannot they're, they're not comfortable showing their emotion and you may be getting uncomfortable with the fact that they don't want to show it to you right so it triggers both of you in some way it triggers your shadow sides um, and the shadow is really the, the reactive energy that the ways that we act and react to things right it's really just fear because like you know say that this person is not showing your their emotional side you may react and it triggers your shadow side of being like, well, why won't they show that to me? What's it, is it about me? What do they not care about me? It has nothing to do with you really. You know, that's the shadow side and we have to see it and how we react to, you know, bring the shadow to light. Then we have the wild. Let me feel my, your nails on my back. So this is somebody who really wants to come to you. They want to come towards you, but there's an obstacle here. Again, this, they want to feel your touch. They want to feel that kind of, you know, physical <laughs> physical sensation right but you know also somebody like when you run your nails on someone's back it can be like this power play kind of um also it can be like it can be painful sometimes like depending on how long your nails are but it's like this is a painful road for them this is a painful journey that they're walking right now and because they're, they're walking it alone and you know whatever they're going through it's again not about you but they have they kind of have to walk it alone to get back to you okay so what's eternal about? We have the mirror. We are mirroring each other. So again, this shadow side, this love triggers our shadow sides. I think that you're both mirroring each other in the same ways. Um, but it can also be about mirroring each other in the ways that you care for each other, right? Because it is this eternal deep bond. And that can indicate, number one, that you've got the, a very, very deep soul connection and you will mirror each other, okay? But another way to look at it is that you know whatever's happening here you both have the same core fear um and it's being it's manifesting in different ways for you for both of you but it is being mirrored back to each other so let's get some romantic messages from them we have all of me loves all of you yeah i'm giving all my love to you right all me loves all of you <coughs> so you know this person does care about you they, they love you okay this person has deep emotion deep feelings for you but again they could be going through some very intense trauma right now <clears throat> let's get another one 
My wish is your command. Your wish is my wish is your command. <laughs> your wish is my command. I really can't read these cards today. Um, you know, this is really somebody who wants to please you. They want to make you happy. They want to be able. This is. I really get that they want to be able to be emotionally open with you. Um, right? Your wish is my command. They know that this is what you want. This is what you're craving from them. But at the same time, it's very difficult for them. They have some problems doing that. This is something I think that they're going to try to work on, but, you know, it's going to take some time. It's because people don't change overnight. You know, it's not like you, anyone that says they just magically cha change their behavior overnight, run far away, okay? Because you are seriously going to be, like, blindsided when they go back to their old, old ways. Because you don't, you can't change overnight. It takes time. It takes a lot of time. Then we have we are one, okay? So this person feels like, you know, the two of you are very, very close. Like, you're almost like the same person. Maybe you finish each other's sentences, you know, d d stuff like that. But they're making their way back to you because I feel like they feel very alone without you right now. See, he's just super alone. He's just like by himself, okay? This person feels very alone, he or she, okay? They feel very alone. They're making their way back to you, okay, because they want to be in that connection, you know, feeling that oneness with you, feeling whole again. There's something missing from their life, but they have to dig this journey to get to you, right? Then we have forbidden fruit. Forbidden fruit can be, you know, something that's forbidden. There's an obstacle. There's something that they feel like they're, you know, there's, some, or you, okay? Um, there's something forbidden about this. It could be anything, really. It could be, you know, depending on your situation, like someone could already be involved. Someone could... You know, there could be an obstacle, a block, it, you know, different cultural beliefs, different religious beliefs, age differences. It's just like an obstacle. There's something forbidden about this for them. And it's kind of like, you know, that, again, I, you may see that there's something forbidden to you or sense that from them. And that could also be why you're mirroring each other at the core fear, right? So let's get to advice cards and we'll close it up we have self-care find ways to do energy healing on yourself learn reiki do yoga do visualizations write affirmations put your hand on your chest and tell yourself you are exactly on the right path breathe sorry can't see this <laughs> um you know this is about taking care of yourself you can't heal this person you can't take care of them you can be there for them and be like a shoulder to lean on but you can't be there on their journey with them right they have to go through it alone you have to focus on your own path your own journey you can't fix the situation whatever it is then we have over explaining you don't have to prove yourself to anyone stop explaining yourself so you know you may feel like you've had to explain a lot of things in the past to this person or like you know kind of over explain things like why you want certain things or why you need certain things like you're expressing your love language right like maybe you need more emotional support maybe you need them to be more emotionally open you don't have to explain this they know intuitively that this is what they they, they need to give you whether or not they follow through with it it's going to be up to them but you don't have to over explain it anymore right sorry the cat's like knocking stuff down so that's going to be your reading i hope that it resonated um if it did, feel free to like, share, and subscribe. Sorry for the delay, technical issues. Don't forget, guys, um, at the end of the month, I always do like a, oh, I'm doing it now. Uh, I always do like a free reading giveaway. So make sure that you like, share, subscribe, and comment. Leave a comment in the comment section um, to be considered and put in the drawing for a free reading, okay? Hope you have a great rest of the day.